so first of all we'll go through the basics like uh, type of load types of support types of beam determinate and indeterminate beam shear force and shear force diagram bending moment and bending moment diagram point of contraflexure and its significance sign convention and uh, points to be kept in mind while drawing shear force and bending moment diagram and the last one is uh, numerical problems on drawing shear force and bending moment diagram and compute point of uh, contraflexure so first of all uh, we'll go through the determinate beam in numerical base and uh, then after we'll go to indeterminate beam you can uh, even take a screenshot and note down my words through this entire video our first topic will be types of load now the basic meaning of load word load is that uh, something that can be carried like uh, weight and uh, if we talk about beam then uh, it may be subjected to the following three types of load that are point or con concentrated load uniformly distributed load or uniformly varying load now when load is uh, acting on a relatively small area that is a point then it is known as a point or concentrated load because the entire load is concentrated on a single point now the unit of the concentrated load is kilonewton and the symbol may be given like this here is an example of a point load that is we have given as 25 kilonewton uh, now if we talk about uniformly distributed load uh, a load which is uh, spread over the beam in such a manner that uh, each unit length of the beam is loaded to the same intensity that uh, this load is spreaded over this beam in entire span it is unit will be 25 kilonewton per meter see 20 kilonewton per meter here is an example of the beam where i have given 25 kilonewton as an example and the length of the beam is 2 meter so we can say total load from coming from the top is 25 into 2 that is 50 kilonewton so basically its unit will be kilonewton per meter and the symbol will be like this or this then after the third one will be uniformly varying load uh, it is also known as triangular load or trapezoidal load if we talk about triangular load we can see how the load is increasing gradually with the increase in the length of the beam that is at one end the load is 0 kilonewton per meter while at the other end there will be w kilonewton per meter and uh, if we talk about trapezoidal load there is some predefined load load at one end that is x kilonewton per meter and uh, it will go on gradually increasing with the length of the beam and uh, it will be maximum at the other end we can say y kilonewton per meter so these are the three basic types of load which we uh, are we have studied up till now next we'll continue from the types of support as discussed in the content so there are four basic types of support which any beam can have that is simple support hinge support fixed support and roller support talking about the simple support beam is freely supported on the support there is no monolithic construction between the beam and the support only vertical reaction can be developed in the support that is beam is not allowed to go in the vertical direction and it is symbolized by these or these uh, figure and the reaction will be vertical so the number of reactions will be one and that is vertical now hinge support beam is hinged to the support at end beam can rotate about the hinge Uh, while vertical and horizontal reactions are developed these type of support are provided at the door edge so door is able to move but is not able to go towards horizontal or vertical direction so the number of reactions will be two horizontal and vertical now fixed support here the beam is rigidly fixed and uh, is not allowed to rotate nor move in any direction so the number of reactions are three that is vertical reaction horizontal reaction moment it simply means that beam is not allowed to move vertically nor horizontally nor 
momentarily. So the number of reactions are three. That is horizontal, vertical, and moment. These three. And the last. Here the support is provided on the rollers, and uh, the end of the beam can move on the rollers. Only vertical reaction is being provided. This type of support is provided for bridge girder to allow the free expansion and contraction of the length. So the number of reactions is one, and that is vertical. Now our next topic will be types of beam. Uh, the types of beam which any structure can have are simply supported beam, overhanging beam, cantilever beam. Propped cantilever beam, fixed beam, and continuous beam. Now, simply supported beam. A beam supported freely on walls or column at its both the end is known as simply supported beam, and is shown by this or this diagram, where we can see that it may have two vertical reactions, or it may have one hinge and one roller support. So, in this diagram, we are having a number of reactions two, and in this diagram, number of reactions will be. Three. That is, roller are, is having one vertical reaction, and uh, hinge is having one horizontal and one vertical reaction. Uh, then, second one is overhanging beam. Uh, beam freely supported on both the ends, but one end or both the ends are projected beyond the support, like this one. This here, both these ends are supported beyond the support. So we can say these are overhanging portions. The number of reactions obviously will be two, and that would be vertical. Then we'll talk about a cantilever beam. A beam which is rigidly fixed at one end, while there is no support at the other end, is known as cantilever beam. So the number of uh, reactions will be three. That is of the fixed support, horizontal, vertical, and moment. These type of uh, beams are provided in our gallery, or we can say balcony. Now, fourth one will be propped cantilever beam. That is, if there is any additional support at the free end of a cantilever beam, it is same as the cantilever beam, but there is only one additional support here. So, the number of reactions will be four. Horizontal, vertical, and moment at one end, and only vertical reaction at. The free end. That is to avoid the deflection at the free end. This would become propped cantilever beam. Total number of reactions four, but in cantilever beam were three. Now uh, talking about fixed beam, fifth one. Both the end of the beam are rigidly connected. That is, both the end are fixed support. Number of reactions will be horizontal, vertical, moment, horizontal, vertical, moment. So total six reactions for a fixed beam. This is the most common beam provided in our structure. And the last one will be continuous beam. A beam supported on more than two supports is known as continuous beam. Or we can say it is having more than one spans. This distance between two support is known as one span. If it is having more than one span, then it will be continuous beam, and more than two supports, it will be continuous beam. Uh, continuous beam is shown in two ways: one where only vertical reactions are shown, and uh, second where one end will be hinge support, and the rest of them will be roller supports. There can be more than two roller supports, and it will be continuous beam. But here it is shown only two roller supports and one hinge support. So number of reactions are vertical, horizontal, vertical, vertical. So four reactions. We are having more than three reactions. So it is continuous beam. So as discussed in the content. In the next lecture, I will continue with the determinate and indeterminate beam. So, till that, do watch all my videos and do like and subscribe.